Welcome to the testing word. So now we are going to understand how we can create. In previous session we have seen we have multiple test cases and each test case has its own data provider. Now let's assume if we have 500 test cases so we need to create 500 data provider which is providing data to the each of the test case. Can we use single data provider for the multiple test case? Answer is yes. We can create single data provider and then we will use the data provider into the multiple test cases. How we can do that? I'll show you. First of all, I'm going to data generator. Here we have two data provider which are working for different methods or I'll say different test case. If you want to use same data provider for the multiple test cases, we can pass an argument here. It's a method and and what is the object name? So I can say like MET and we can handle it like if method dot get name, it is returning the method name. If the method name is equals ignore case. So I'm going to the test case and my test case one method name is this. So if the method name is this, then use this code. So I have handled for one method. So if the method name is this, this code will execute and will generate the data for this particular test case. Here it is showing error because it shows like you are returning a value. Here we have placed test data in this case because it is showing the error. If this is executing, yes, it will return a value. But if this is not executing, what will happen? So I'll show you how we handle that. I'm just going to the second case. Else if. And using the same approach. And here I'm giving the test case to method name. If method name is equal to the test case to method name, then I'm going to execute code which we have written for the second data provider. Hello friends, hope you're enjoying our videos. And if you find this video is beneficial for you, please subscribe our videos by clicking on this subscribe button. After subscribing, you will get immediate notification for all the videos which we are going to upload. Happy learning! So like this, I'm just copying it and pasting over here. So now for the two test case, we have two data provider. Now I have maintained in a single method with if and else. In the same way, we can maintain if else if structure for all the methods. What is pending? The object array that we are creating here inside the method. So what I'm doing? If nothing is there, right? Means if nothing is there, no method is given means if the code is coming to the else. So I'm just creating a blank object array with two by two and return this. So I'm just returning this test data means if nothing happens, then return a blank two dimension array. The point over here is we are handling all the method names by this if else condition means if you are using this data provider in this method, then it will execute this much of code will return that test data object array two dimension array. If the method name is second, it will execute this much of code and will return the test data array. If nothing happened, it will going to return, it is going to return a blank test data array. So everything is perfect. Now I'm going to the test case one and we are using that. If you check the name here, I'm removing the second data provider as of now. So now we have only one data provider and the name is Excel. So I'm using that same data provider in the first test case. Now you will notice it will read the data from the first sheet as we are work as it is working before in a first sheet we have two data so it will work for the two data now that is for one data and it's moving for the second data 
and I'm going to use the same data provider for the test case too. So I'll come here. Everything is done. Now if I'm going to the test case too and use the same use the same data provider running it. So now this time it will check the method name because the method name is two. So else if code will execute. So it's a simple way we have handled. And now if you notice we have three data in the second sheet. So this test case is going to execute three times. So if you notice that the second test case is executing. And now for the third data, done so if you notice all the past all the test cases are passed and if you go there on the data generator we are not doing much difference in that what we are doing before that we are writing only code over here now we are doing the condition handling means here we have defined the method it's a class and the object if the method dot get name method which is calling this data provider if the name of that method is this then execute this code Else if, if the second test case, then execute this code. Same like we can write for the third test case, fourth test case, fifth test case. So single data provider method is going to work for multiple test cases. So here I'm going to show you that's the overall structure we have created. And now we are not writing multiple data providers. A single data provider is working with multiple test cases. So here we have seen advanced structure of the data driven framework. So till this session, we have implemented a complete end to end data provide data driven framework where my test cases are executing with the different set of test data and test data is maintained in the separate Excel sheet. Now it's up to you. You can take this framework to up to a new level. You can implement log4j logging. You can implement reporting option here. So now next level you need to achieve, but we have created a basic structure that you can take to the next level and the data driven part, everything is done. Only the pending part is if you want to generate reports, you want to generate logs. So that need to be updated only. That's all we have for this data driven framework session. Thanks for watching this video. Hi friends. Hope you're enjoying this video. If you have any question regarding this video, you can ask your question in the comment section. Also, I would request you to please subscribe our channel. You can subscribe it by clicking on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis. Also, we are offering our all the video courses at very high discounted price. We have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities if you are interested to buy any video course or all video course you can call or whatsapp us on this number also you can be in touch with us by using facebook linkedin or twitter happy learning